Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to what will likely be a very underwhelming update for my whole collection project pan. This is the fifth update in this project for this year. This project was created by Becky from Becky Loves Kenga. I was heavily inspired to do this when my friend Emily from Emily and Max did this probably like five or six years ago at this point in time. And I have enjoyed doing this project ever since. It is a completely random project pan where my entire makeup collection is itemized on an Excel spreadsheet and I randomly generate 10 products to work on at any given time. Now, I do have two products that'll be rolling out today, but my progress on everything else, it's underwhelming. It is underwhelming, you guys, but that's okay. That's okay, not, not every update is going to be great and I just feel like I have not, I feel like, I feel like I need to like clean my, like you know when you just feel like your entire life is just like cluttered? Like I'm like, I don't feel like I have a plan for every day. Like I've felt very out of sync the last couple of months for no reason in particular. Um, I just feel like I was traveling for work and I just like have not been in a good routine. And alas, um, I haven't been like as like laser focused on some of my project pan items, but I'm rambling at this point in time. If you guys are interested in my update as well as the two new products I'll be rolling out two new products I'll be rolling in to replace the two products I'll be rolling out. Stay tuned for if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette theme content, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, I wanna start with the one product that I think is in my car. Like I can't currently find it, but I'm pretty sure it's in my car because I have been taking this with me to wear out. And that is the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Lipstick in the shade Tang Tang. It is a really beautiful, kind of like sheer coral lipstick. And I gave myself the goal of finishing that product up because it is one of the, it is one of the products I included in these, in my project, not really project, but in my video, these products will self-destruct. And I told myself I need to finish that product up before the end of the year or it needs to go in the trash because it's so old but i actually have been wearing that lip product um quite often in may i've actually been doing like quite a few activities with my friends in may and i've been wearing that lipstick every time i see them it is a really beautiful shade especially for this time of year i love that lipstick with like a bronzy look so i'm excited to update you guys next next month with actually by the time i edit this hopefully i I don't know if I have line markings for that one, but hopefully I'll have pictures or something at least that I can share over on the side so you can see that I have gotten some use on that one. Nevertheless, my goal is to finish that one up and it is not empty. That one is staying in the project. We can get this one and this one over with next because I didn't reach for either of these at all. The Lil Ghost Palette, I gave myself a goal of no pan left behinding and that is this has been in for several months. And I believe the only shades I've used are like these two right here and these two right here if my memory is serving me correctly i don't have my notebook right in front of me i know i failed but this this will be a rollout next update i'm going to like keep this on my desk until i complete this no pan left behind style but a very lackluster update on this and then this also rolled in well this rolled in last update also with the gold to no pan left behind and i didn't reach for this one at all this is the uh kaleidos futurism Six, lunar lavender eyeshadow palette and I really want to complete this no pan left behind before I film my upcoming palette declutter because I feel like this palette in my mind is on the chopping block and I want to know if I use it no pan left behind style will I want to keep it we shall see all right these two products also rolled in last update so I have the YSL bare nude bare look tint tinted moisturizer i gave myself an 11 use goal with this one and i did only reach for this one singular time i kind of forgot about this and then i remembered and i reached for it once and that's it so i don't know that i'll reach for this 10 times in this next month although we are in june now which is just wild to think about so you know in the summer i do like reaching for something that is a little bit lighter coverage. So may maybe a miracle will happen and I will get my 10 uses out of this, but I still have 10 uses left to complete that. And then I also rolled in my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Brick and I gave myself an eight use goal with this. I have reached for this one time and I think this one's gonna be difficult. Even though eight uses isn't a lot, it's just a deeper shade of red. It's not necessarily like the season that I would wear this in. Although when I did wear this, it definitely is more neutral and wearable than I remember. So, you know, maybe I can split up my uses throughout the summer and hopefully maybe by September, 
this could be a rollout or maybe I'll shock myself and want to wear this every day in June again only time will tell I keep looking at my, myself in the viewfinder I feel like something just looks off it could like I just ate a piece of pizza so I'm like do I have pizza sauce all over my face similar to like when I brush my teeth you guys should see when I brush my teeth no matter if I'm like trying to like politely brush my teeth or just like no matter what's happening when I'm brushing my teeth I literally look like a rabid dog like I'm literally politely trying to brush my teeth I'm not talking I'm just brushing and I look like a rabid dog always and I don't know what relevance that has but I keep looking at the viewfinder I'm like something like is it like my makeup it's been on all day I've been up since five um and I'm home from work trying to film this really quickly so I'm not sure what's happening sorry for my rambles okay these next two lip products so this one right here is the iconic london lip plumping gloss i gave myself a goal of finishing this off because my goal this year as is most years is to use up as many lip products as possible this one is going very slowly and if we keep up at this same pace this won't be an empty by the end of the year and that is just pathetic in my mind it's not like a painful pump plumping gloss it is what is on my lips today I might add just a little bit more i don't love this one though like i don't like the doe foot it's not like it almost is too flexible that i just i don't love the applicator and i do i like the shade but it's just nothing special in my opinion i think i got this in like a boxy charm so i just want to move it out of my collection but like girl we got to pick up the pace if we want that to happen by the end of the year then i have my ysl tattoos lip stain in the shade 23 i have actually been using this quite a bit i'm pretty sure this is opaque packaging because as i scrape at the sides i like nothing's happening and i've used this so much like we've got to be getting down there i haven't taken the stopper out of this one and i do i do for the most part take the stoppers out of my lip products this is a really really beautiful shade it's like a your lips but better like deeper shade but it's so flattering and i really really enjoy this so i'm just enjoying my time with this eventually it'll be an empty hopefully by the end of the year um that's again the goal with this one but products still coming out every time i reach for this which is insane because i've had this for so many years and i feel like i've reached for this product so much in its lifetime with me and yet here it is still giving me product every time i try to use it that brings us to our two rollouts so i'm very excited to be rolling out my say dewy blush in the shade baby if you guys can see there is heavy windowing like right here on the product which honestly just makes me so happy that you know with a little bit of effort maybe towards the end of the year in the colder months when i'm wanting to reach for a shade like this i could potentially potentially finish this product before the end of the year i am a really big fan of the say dewy blushes i think they're really really beautiful i also am someone who likes a glowier cheek um and i've been you know i've been having fun with cream and liquid blush uh lately but i gave myself a 20 use goal i was at 14 uses last update and i did reach for this an additional six times so this one will be rolling out again i i plan to not necessarily in a project but i would like to try and encourage myself to finish this by the end of the year so i'll pull that back out in the colder months and then the final product i have to roll out is my aether beauty summer solstice eyeshadow palette i gave myself a goal of no pan left behinding this eyeshadow palette and i have completed that goal and i will say so this rolled in a couple months ago and then i was like i just don't feel inspired to reach for this i'm actually gonna end up decluttering this palette and then i changed my mind and brought it back into the project and i'm so glad i did because i had so much fun creating looks with this eyeshadow palette and i'm really excited to keep it in my collection i will post pictures over here that i have of looks that i've created with this eyeshadow palette i feel like when i look into this sometimes i'm like i don't know exactly what i want to do but i really did enjoy creating the looks that i did so this one will also be rolling out and is another eyeshadow palette that i have yet that i have completed now in my collection no pan left behind style okay so that means we get to roll in two additional products to work on in this project my only rules are that i don't want to work on any more than two products in the same category at any given time so the only product that i would re-roll for would be eyeshadow palettes i believe everything else should be fair game my spreadsheet isn't the most up to date but i will be filming my mid-year makeup inventory at the end of this month so i will hopefully have a very up-to-date excel spreadsheet for the next update mostly what's missing right now would just be new products to my collection that have come in this year and so i think i have 482 yeah 482 eligible products so i'm just going to randomly generate two numbers and get number 46 
and 461. So I will go into my spreadsheet and I'm at the bottom right now. So I'm actually gonna grab 461 first. Truffle teas. Oh, it's a lipstick, a Maybelline lipstick and truffle teas. Okay, that works because that is a beautiful nude shade that I will love using, especially this time of year. Let me grab that quick. All right, so here is Truffle Tees. This is a really beautiful, really beautiful. Like that is like my favorite type of nude, just like a brownie, rosy, pinky nude. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I am gonna give myself, hmm, I do have so many like lip, products that I'm working on but I have a stain a gloss a liquid lipstick and now an actual lipstick I think I might give myself an 11 use goal with this one as well I think that's what we're gonna do 11 uses and we can roll that out I'm actually so excited to have some motivation to reach for this lip product because I forget just how much I love this one so that is the first product and then the second product rolling in was number 46 which is Oh, never mind. Um, okay, ooh, okay, so it would have been the Cosmic Brushes Muse eyeshadow palette, but I have actually already completed that eyeshadow palette, No Pan Left Behind style this year, and it is a palette, which I said was not eligible, because I already have two. So we are gonna roll again, and we get number 304. 304 is, number 304, oh. Well, this is interesting. I got my Natasha Denona concealer, which is much too light for me, but maybe this will work well because I have been mixing this with my Rose Ink Concealer, which is going in a project which is way too dark for me, and these two together make a good combo. So maybe it'll actually encourage me to get use out of both. So maybe... Okay, I feel like I've been averaging about like 25, like doing my makeup about 25 times in a month. I thought I just saw like a wolf run by. It was definitely just a car driving by, but it looks so weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna give myself so 25, let's 24 divided by two would be 12. Maybe I'll give myself a 12 use goal. So basically trying to use this concealer like every other time I do my makeup in the month. I think that will be my goal because then maybe I could roll this one out next update. Um, hopefully these two would be rollouts next update. Like I'm just trying to think through products that it's fun to roll something, at least one thing out every month and roll something new in. Oh, I almost forgot you guys. I also have my Bite Beauty Melon Mojito liquid blush that rolled in last update and I didn't reach for this at all. That's probably why I forgot it. But this is also remaining in the project. Um, I am hoping, it's, it's nice to have something to roll every single month, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I think between these two, like these two should be easy rollouts, and then this could be a maybe, but I think, you know, I think we have a good, a good range, a good mix of products here, but hopefully I have something else to roll out next update. I definitely am thinking, like I'm feeling, I'm feeling a yellow inner corner, like a yellow matte inner corner look this June. Keep on the lookout for that. Um, as, and then this bottom row too, I could really have some fun with, but um, yeah, those are, that's everything. That's my update for this whole collection project pan. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. I am, why am I going to say this? I am also trying to post every single day in June. So hopefully I've done that so far fingers crossed hope you'll join me tomorrow and every day of june for a video anyway i am officially going to end the video here thank you guys so much as always i love you and i will catch you in my next video bye